Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 22, 2016. This week, making stickers in Photoshop elements. Placing a small white outline around an embellishment, title, text, or stamps turns a digital image into a digital sticker. It's a really great way to make a title stand out and provide contrast between the image and the background. In the previous tip, we used the Layer Styles function to create stickers in Photoshop. That function isn't available in Elements, so here's how to get the same effect if you're using Photoshop Elements. Begin by opening the image that you want to use to create a sticker, and then use the Move tool to drag it onto your project. Now that that's done, you can minimize the original image and zoom in on your project. Next, control click or on a Mac system command click the thumbnail of the image layer in the Layers panel. This will place a selection marching ants around your image. Next, choose Select, Modify, Expand from the menu bar. When the Expand selection box populates, Type a number into the expand box. So for the sample, I'm going to use 15 pixels and click OK. You can adjust the number for a larger or smaller outline depending on the look that you're going for. Now the marching ants surrounding the image are a little bit larger than the image itself. Control click or on a Mac system command click the create a new layer icon in the layers panel. It looks like a little post-it note with a turned up edge. This makes a new layer below your original image. From the menu bar, choose Edit, Fill Selection. From the Use box, choose White. And then I leave the Blending Mode at Normal and Opacity at 100%. Make sure that the Preserve Transparency box is not ticked and click OK. This creates the backing for your image. Press Ctrl D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the marching ants. Next, you'll want to place a small drop shadow on the white layer. This gives your sticker some dimension. Use the Effects tab and a drop shadow style. I'm going to use one of Katie Pertit's drop shadow styles to give the sticker dimension. And then return to the Layers panel. Control click or on a Mac system Command click both the image and the backing layer. When they're both selected, click the little link icon on the left side of one of the layers. This way, if you want to move your sticker, the image and the background move together so that you don't have to realign them. You can use this technique with type text too. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.